Hey guys, this is Hyder from Xtrades and in this video we're going to go over how to manage risk properly with options trading. So the first thing with options trading that you have to know is that options trading is very risky because it's a lot more volatile compared to um, trading shares, right? So yeah, options trading, um, the contract prices move very quickly so it's very volatile. A small move can like for example a one percent move in a stock could equal to a 50 percent move in an option contract right so um, option contracts move very very quickly so you have to size accordingly as well since it's very volatile you want to make sure that you are sizing very small um so that's yeah very important if you're trading ten thousand with uh um if you're trading ten thousand and you use that money to trade shares then you would want to um divide that by 10 and that's how much you should be trading with options that's a good thumb rule um next thing expiration date so with options trading uh there's this thing called data so data eats up your contract if uh the stock doesn't end up moving if it ends up going like let's say you have a call so you're betting that a stock is going to go up and if the stock goes flat you you could uh so flat down up. so right th th that's the three things a stock could do if it goes up you could make money you could make lots of money but if it goes up but it goes up very slowly then you could also lose money because of this thing called data um so data is a very important concept in options trading especially when it comes to risk management so you want to uh you want to choose a right expiration date or a proper expiration date to manage risk accordingly if you are going for a day trade then playing weekly contracts is fine um, if you're going for swing trades you want to go for monthly contracts um two to three months is usually um the max i would go but usually at least one month would be good for swing trades and then for longer term plays like leaps you would want to go out one year right so make sure that you are properly uh you're, you're choosing the proper expiration date so for example if i'm trying to swing trade i should not use a weekly contract because theta will kill me right even if the stock moves up um it has to move up fast enough where theta doesn't kill me with a weekly contract but if you're day trading that's completely fine so yeah even if your stock goes up you could still lose money even if if it goes flat you could lose money right and if it goes down obviously you would lose money but with shares it's not like that so with options trading it's different so you gotta you gotta account for that next thing you want to choose at the i typically choose at the money or the closest out of the money strike so these are typically lower risk um and less volatile compared to more out of the money the more out of the money you go the more of a lottery more of a lottery um trade that it becomes because it's very unlikely that it can make that big of a move um or that option contract to actually move right so this is coming back to theta if you go at the money you lose or you have less less effect theta has a less less effect on your contract the closer you are to at the money or out of the money right so typically the closer you are to um the stock price that's the best strike to choose because you have less you have data has a less data has less effect on your contract so yeah typically you would want to choose out the money or closest under the money strike next thing market orders versus limit orders um so if you're trading a liquid stock like amazon or apple then it really doesn't matter too much you could do a market order and it should be fine right but um for illiquid stocks um for example there's some like growth growth tech stocks right um some small cap growth tech stocks for those type of stocks you would want to use limit orders uh, because they are typically a little bit less liquid but with uh, big cap tech stocks like apple amazon microsoft meta you, you should be good and market orders are fine so yeah definitely something to consider if you're playing the uh, less popular stocks you want to use limit orders and then um with options trading you definitely want to be buying a little bit before the key levels um if you're buying at a breakout option prices tend to inflate 
and the premium yeah premium getting gets inflated so typically with options trading you want to try to anticipate more and buy a little bit before the breakout that's a secret tip that a lot of people don't really know but well for example with stock trading you can buy on the breakout and that's completely fine but with option trading you can't do that because of the um premium inflation right and then you know, also you want to make sure that you're not over trading with options trading options trading should be used only when you see an a plus opportunity otherwise you, you should just be trading with shares because uh, a lot of stocks they don't trade that cleanly um for example pinterest has been chopping around for quite some time now um take a look at the weekly chart right all of this is just chopped if you were playing any options around this time it's highly unlikely that you made money because just the how choppy the stock is right um but with shares you could trade this type of stuff but with options you definitely can so you want to be very picky and make sure that you're not over trading and you want to be choosing the stocks that have a lot of momentum um so upsd is like good stock upsd had a really nice run here so you want to choose stocks that have potential to actually run and not stocks that can chop and yeah you want to minimize over trading as much as possible and use options trading for like the best of the best trades only otherwise you could use uh, stock shares or just shares and then yeah speed is very important especially for day trading um options option trading uh with option trading contract prices move very very quickly and are very volatile like i said before so speed is very key um you want to make sure that you're executing right at the breakout or right before the breakout ideally and then you want to make sure that you're selling very quickly and you have to yeah constantly be monitoring the contract and uh, with options trading you can't st set stop losses so when the price triggers your stop loss then you have to manually go into your broker and sell <coughs> the option contract but yeah that's pretty much all i got um yeah thank you guys for tuning in